Hey everybody, I'll try to make this short. I want to talk about nationalism and uh, Europe before World War I. Nationalism is a deep sense of pride in your country. So if you look at the map here, you will see that we had uh, lots of different countries in Europe before, and we still do. Germany, Austria, Hungary. This is before World War I. Uh, France and Russia and the United Kingdom. Um, and they had this growing sense that they were better than everybody else. They were superior. Their culture, their economic system, their military. Um, Germany's better than uh, Great Britain. France is better than Austria-Hungary. So um, we're all beating on our chests and we're better than you. And um, they hadn't really been to war in like 40 years. So a lot of people were forgetting about how uh, how terrible world uh, a big war was. And um, they would por portray each other's culture as evil. And um, the French had a great industry, and um, they had fortresses on its eastern border here. And they thought uh, there was no way that they were going to get invaded. The Germans thought they had these great e um, economic and industrial and uh, engineering advances, and there was no way that they could be overtaken by another country. Great Britain had a wonderful navy, and they were never going to have any problems with anyone else. Uh, Russia's Tsar Nicholas II thought that his people were protected by God and that their, their great population would ward off any attacks by anyone else. So um, they all kind of had an inflated sense of ego, an inflated sense of, of how they were superior to each other and um they, there was militarism going on they were building up their militaries and um they would read about invasion invasion literature about um about invading other countries and being victorious and um the germans were portrayed as cold calculating people the russians were portrayed as barbarians the French were portrayed as lazy, leisure-seeking individuals. And um, they, they would kind of like bash each other all the time. So uh, they were drunk with uh, feelings of superiority. Uh, Europe was, was kind, of, um, kind of always on the brink of this, uh, this, this war here. And, then, and they started building alliances because they were because they were uh, scared of each other. So Germany here and Austria-Hungary became an alliance, and then France became an alliance with Russia, and uh, later on the United Kingdom uh, joined in the alliance with France and Russia. So um, if you're reading in your book uh, the chapter about World War I, why did nationalism cause tension in Europe before World War I? That's a question that I'm going to have you answer um, at the end of the week. Um, but you can re start reading the first section, and um, hopefully this worked, and I'll try to get better at it as we go. And we have a special guest star, Deutsche. Oh, oh, there you go. Look, you're on screen. Everybody's going to see you. All right. See you soon.